A few years ago, while I was in high school, the deep web was becoming very popular. I never really got into it until my friend told me about it because he was into that weird stuff. One day after school, I had nothing to do, so I went on to the browser tour. I didn't really see much, so I called my friend over so he could help me out. Once he got to my house, we started searching more and more. We saw a lot of drugs and illegal weapons, stuff like that. Then he clicked on a link that was in a chat room, and the link said, watch this. As we're sitting there, we're just staring at the screen that went from black to the outside of a building within a few seconds. And out of nowhere, a sticky note that said, want to see something cool? So then I typed, yeah, sure. What was weird was the guy wouldn't type. He just showed sticky notes in the camera. And he also never spoke. All of a sudden, the camera started moving toward the building that it was facing. As we're watching him move toward the building, we noticed that the building was in our neighborhood. Then he quit moving and put another sticky note that said, LOL. That kind of creeped me out. And then a person entered the building, which was eerily dark. The camera stopped at a padlocked door and then unlocked it and opened it. The camera moved toward the back of this dark room and there was a dog bowl on the floor. Now at this point, the camera was only facing the dog bowl. A few moments later, whoever the person was that was holding the camera put something in the bowl that looked like just slop. Honestly, it looked like feces. Then you hear another door open and a girl crying in the background, along with a chain dragon. This girl shows up in the camera crying with a chain around her neck. And the guy shoved her face in the bowl and puts a sticky note in front of the camera that said, cool, right? Then the screen goes black. We sat there for about 10 minutes in disbelief, but the stream was still alive. Then out of nowhere, the camera was back on. And it was in the corner of my street. Then another sticky note that said, 545 East 99 Street off of St. Clair. That was my address. Then another sticky note that said, open the door. We sat there confused, then out of nowhere, a knock at the door. I grabbed my phone, jumped up, and we both ran to the back door. Then we heard a knock at that door right before I grabbed the handle. At that point, we had someone at the back door and someone at the front door knocking. We were stuck. Critical thinking wasn't my strength at that point. We ran upstairs, called the cops, and locked ourselves in my room. The cops showed up, but no one was outside. Only items that the cops found were a hundred sticky notes, all with my address written on them. I told the cops about the building with the girl, and they found it. The girl was 14 and had been missing for five weeks. We moved out of that house within a week. But I would never visit the deep or the dark web again.